Okay, we've just returned from the flying field for a nice successful day. And we're going to look at what we need to do to maintain this aircraft for maybe till next weekend or possibly even over the winter if we're in a cold climate and we're flying late in the fall. So we're going to start with the engine. Uh, typical manufacturers recommend that at the end of your day flying, you should run all the fuel out of the engine. So at this point, you either can take the fuel line off or you can pinch the fuel line or whatever, but somehow stop the fuel supply to the carburetor, put your glow plug on, start the engine, run all the fuel out of the engine, okay? Now, some fuel manufacturers, they state that they have some additives in their fuel that will prevent the bearings from rusting over long period of times and whatever, and some I don't believe they do, but uh, I always, to be safe, feel it's a good idea to put some type of a rust preventative or an after-run type oil into the engine before you store it. And, uh, you know, there's commercially available spray lubricants such as this. There's lubricants come in little squeeze bottles, uh, lock oils, gun oils, there's just all kinds of products you can buy to put in the engine to protect it. But the key thing you want to do is you want to coat the bearings with some type of rust preventative so they don't rust over a long period of time. Because once you get rust on the bearings, then when you turn your motor over, you can, you can literally hear it. It has kind of that scratchy grinding noise. Once you get into that, your bearing life is, is short-lived. Uh, you're going to be putting new bearings in this engine sooner or later. So the easiest way I've found to do it is, is open up your carburetor to the maximum. Take, your, take whether it's a spray lubricant or a lubricant and a squeeze ball or whatever. Give it a pretty good shot right down the carburetor like that. What I like to do then, turn the engine over a few dozen times. If you have an electric starter, you can hit it with a few seconds for the electric starter. Then close the carburetor. And at that point in time, if you're just going to fly weekend to weekend, I'd leave it about like that. Now, if you're going to store the aircraft for the winter, uh, the one bearing that always typically goes out first is the front bearing, which is the one right behind the propeller hub. And the reason this bearing goes out is because the clearance between the crankshaft and the front of this engine case is very, very small. And the reason that is small is so just a limited amount of fuel and oil go to this front bearing. Because if not, you'd be spraying fuel out the prop and all over the airplane. So they really restrict that clearance. Well, in the exercise we just did, and even with a little thicker oil that might come out of a squeeze bottle or whatever, it's really hard to get this front bearing really coated. So what I would recommend, if it's going to be a long storage period of maybe a month or longer, once you go ahead and lube that motor, stand this thing on its nose somewhere, whether you, whether you hang it by the tail or you put it in the corner or whatever, stand the aircraft on its nose, and that gives this oil that's inside the crankcase, crankcase time to work its way through that tight clearance item and get to that front bearing and really lube it and protect it from the rust. Okay, we just lubed our motor. We're going to take a cursory look at some of the other aircraft functions before we totally put this thing away. Uh, one thing I always like to look at, and a lot of people don't, and it's really forgotten about a lot, is the wheels and the, the way they run on their axles. Uh, these things with the plastic hubs and all that, they pick up a lot of grime and dirt at the flying field, especially like if you go to Florida to fly. You know, there's just so much sand, it gets in everywhere. I'd pick these things up and, and just make sure your wheels turn freely. It's a, a lot of times if one of these things happen to bind up and you don't know it, and you set the airplane on the runway and you try to take off, whichever wheel is tight, you're not going to be able to oversteer it and you're going to go off the runway, possibly hit another airplane or a fence barrier or whatever. So take a good look at your wheels. And it never hurts, you know, while you're doing the lubrication thing with the motor, it never hurts to put a few drops on these axles. Keep your wheels lubed, keep them rotating freely. That's uh, a good thing to keep an eye on. We're going to do our cursory look inside the model. Want to make sure, number one, all your linkages are on well. Another thing to check, and especially if you're running like the high vibration gas type motors, take a screwdriver and make sure all your servo arms stay tight. Uh, a lot of vibration, these things happen to come loose. I've seen a number of airplanes crash. The guy goes out and picks up the pieces and he says, oh no, my servo arm came off the servo. The screw must have vibrated out. So it's never a bad thing when you're taking a look inside the aircraft to take a look, make sure all your servo arms are tight, make sure your battery is secure. Go back to your surfaces at the tail. Once again, you want to look at linkages, make sure your screws are tight, never hurts to move and give a little tug on the surfaces, check your hinges. We have uh, keepers on the clevises to keep them from opening up. 
Want to make sure those keepers are on there. I know with uh, a lot of our jet models, turbine models, we actually have little metal clips that clip on the, the link to keep it on there. That's one of the first things I always look at when I come home because a lot of times you can wipe these airplanes off or whatever with a rag and you can snag those kind of items and literally pull them off and you don't, unless you really look and check, you don't know they're gone. So just want to look at hinges, linkages, make sure everything's okay. Got everything lubed, everything looks tight. We feel good, we'll put the airplane away and the next weekend when we go out to fly or even next spring, should be able to pick this thing up and be good to go.